I'm Austin Zimmerman, Product Specialist with Houston Metal Sawing, Houston's premier metal sawing and processing facility. Houston Metal Sawing has been in the industry for over 50 years, and during that 50 years, we've processed a lot of exotic materials. Metal Nail 400 is a nickel copper alloy, and it's valued for its high corrosion and PSI resistance as well as its high tensile strength. Being such a versatile material, it can be found in a variety of different fields, but it's most commonly known in the marine, oil and gas, and the chemical industry. Monel being such a diverse material comes in a lot of shapes and sizes, but today we're going to be doing a solid 8 inch round and we're going to be cutting it on our Velux 560 2 inch blade 22 inch capacity horizontal bandsaw. This Velux 560 machine is a full CNC capable machine, so we'll be able to input the job at an inch and a quarter cut for 55 cuts into the machine and essentially be able to walk away, keeping efficiency in a timely manner to get the job back out to the customer. To aid us in this cutting process, we're going to be using Sawblade.com's Q1002 triple chip carbide blade. The Q1002 from Sawblade.com is specifically engineered to cut exotic high tensile strength alloys such as this Monel 400. It's got a precision triple chip ground carbide tooth that's going to be able to keep an accurate cut with minimal blade deflection and a great overall blade life. But it's also going to help us in this cutting process. When cutting high tensile strength materials, you tend to build up a lot of heat. So we're going to be using Sawblade.com's C5200 Industrial Sawing Fluid. It's got a great detergent package with good lubricators that's going to keep the heat and the chip away from the part and the blade. What's also going to help us keep the blade chip free is the use of Sawblade.com's Performance Chip Brush. A chip brush is a small part on a bandsaw, but it has a large role. Its role is to keep the gullet on the blade chip free. That way they don't carry around and go back into the cut. What that could lead to is the risk of tooth strippage or overfeeding, which could cause blade deflection in the part. And we don't want that in such a high value material. Lastly, what we're gonna be using is Sawblade.com's Industrial Carbide Guides. Here at Houston Metal Sawing, we change our industrial carbide guides once, twice, maybe even three times a year to make sure that we have a precise, accurate cut time and time again, no matter the value of the material, serving all of our customers and keeping our machines precise and accurate. When we're cutting such a high value exotic alloy, we want to make sure that our cut specs are right on the money. So we're going to be using sawbladedata.com to give us a good starting baseline. At 87.5 feet per minute on blade speed, it recommended a 2-3 carbide tip blade, which we have equipped here on our 560, and it said that we should be cutting at four square inches a minute, which through an eight inch solid would be about 12 to 13 minutes of cut. Like I said, sawbladedata.com is a great engine to use. You can put in your material, your blade, and your machine specs, and it's gonna give you a good baseline. But here at Houston Metal Sawing, we're gonna take it a step further, and we're gonna be looking at the chips. Your chip is gonna tell you if you're overfeeding or if you're underfeeding, and if the blade is moving too fast. If you notice that you have a blue or straw brown chip in cutting exotic materials, you've moved way too fast through the part. And now you have run the risk of overheating your material and work hardening it. In exotic alloys, the chip should be the same color of the material when you started. Also, if you notice that you have a straw-like chip that's real thin and hair-like, you're probably running too fast on a blade speed, or if the curly cue is too tight, more than likely you're overfeeding that blade and you're probably gonna have a little blade deflection. So generally, what we're looking for is a good, healthy curly cue that's being ejected properly without blade deflection and no discoloration in an exotic alloy. HoustonMetalSawing.com is Houston's premier metal sawing facility with a very large capacity. We have everything from 3 8 all the way to 5 foot cut capacities and we service everything with our 25 ton crane. So whether it's something small or exotic, reach out to HoustonMetalSawing.com and request a quote and see how we can be your competitive advantage.